Well, I don't know how you guys feel, but I always want like someone who makes music to at least be authentic with it and like do it because they love it. But Cardi B revealed today that she just does it for the money. Okay, now, you know, we assume that kind of with some people, but it's like when you say it, it's like, ugh, you know, it's almost like, ah, you know, like salute to Cardi B. She makes, well, she doesn't make, people write her great music and she performs it well, okay? So anybody can write a great, well, people can write a great song, but if it's not performed well, it's not going to land, right? So you have to give her half the credit to just performing the song. This is why R&B acts are so good. They don't write necessarily write the music but they perform it so well that it's believable you know so that's what cardi b does well but you know she's been exposed uh like a long time ago when you know the song uh, be careful with me came out and then party or partisan partisan fontaine party was you know the footage was pulled up of him rapping the same lyric same beat years before so she was exposed at that point. And then it's like, okay, this is the guy who's writing all of her music. And this is like the secret weapon, okay, to her hits. But she put out a video today where it was like she was talking about how she only does this for money, you know, and like she does things for money. Make money. I don't really give a fuck about being lyrical. I don't give a fuck about this and that. If that shit don't work for me, I don't care. I like to make shit that's gonna make me fucking money. I like to make shit that's gonna climb me off the, on the charts. Like, okay, great. That's what I want. I want to be up top of the charts. I want to make money. I don't care about none of that shit. I know so many lyrical people. New York is a home. Now listen, don't forget the interview she did with Vlad in like years ago where she was talking, he was like, yo, you write your own shit. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I write my own shit. We're from New York. And she, she, she went to this whole thing where she's from New York, the home of lyricists and everything. And now she's talking about this. There's nothing consistent with this. You know, it's like I salute her on being successful and everything. But then it's also like, yo, man. You got to be careful who you make famous because now she's getting into that pocket for the past six months where she's overly confident and now she's going to start shitting on people. We're seeing a lot of exposed videos now of makeup artists coming out and saying how rude she is and how she doesn't acknowledge them in the room and, you know, treats people like garbage and uh, ex-roommates coming forward and it's just like, eh, I'm kind of, I'm good on it now. You know, it was cool for a minute. But now it's like, I'm good, you know? And, and you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, you, you're entitled to feel how you feel. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people in here like, oh, you're hating. I'm just saying how I feel, okay? That's how I feel, you know? If you consider that hating, it's hating. But, you know, that's it. You know, and I, I salute her for winning and, you know, she figured it out, you know? And that's hard enough in, in life. And I understand she wants to make money and everything, but there has to be some type of passion behind it, you know? as well you know you can, anyways i don't know it's jordan tower jt news hit that bell hit the subscribe button i'll check you guys later